Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So today we are going to discuss uh, questions of theory of computation which is asked in GATE 2022. So here is our first question. Consider the following languages L1 and L2 where L1 equals to a power n w a power n where w belongs to a comma b t enclosure and L2 equals to w x w r where w comma x belongs to a comma b t enclosure and mod of w comma mod of x is greater than 0. Here one thing is missing that here uh, n value of n will be greater than or equal to 0. So note that wr is the reversal of this string w. Which of the following is our true? So in this question two languages are given and we have to find the correct option. It is multiple select questions so more than one option could be correct. So you have to uh, analyze all the options very carefully. Now let's see the solution. Okay, so here I have taken W equals to A B B A because uh, we can here we can take any combination of A and B as W. So I have taken W equals to A B B A. Now we will put the value of W in the language. So input in, input string will become A B B A and in between x will come and ending with reverse of this string that is a b b a now the middle part uh, uh, okay so now i am taking a as w and the first and i say the first symbol must be equal to the last symbol when it transpose so so first symbol is a so it, uh, so the last symbol must be a and here I, I am taking this whole part, this whole middle part as x. Now the now the regular expression will become a, a plus b. Sorry, here plus, plus will come because in question it is given that mod of w comma mod of x is greater, greater than 0. There is a typing mistake. So uh, here uh, plus will be there. So and then a and uh, plus. Uh, same when w starts with b, b it must be end with b so regular expression for this b a plus b plus b so this will be the complete regular expression for the language l2 so um, we can say that we can construct the finite automata for this language hence the language l2 is regular language now let's consider the language L1 a power n w a power n where w belongs to a comma b clean closure. Here I am here I am taking the value of n equals to 0 because it is given in the question that the value of n is greater than or equal to 0. So I am taking n equals to 0 and we will put this value in this language. So this uh, the input string will become epsilon x epsilon and x can be any combination of a and b so it uh, regular expression will become a plus b clean closure so this will be the regular expression for the language l1 so we can also construct the uh, finite automata for language l1 hence language l1 is also a regular language now let's consider the options so first option is L1 and L2. So we have to tell the correct uh, true uh, true statements. So option 1 is true because we have seen that both the languages are regular. So option 1 is true. Now L1 and L2 are context free. Okay so this is also true because we know that every regular language is also a context free language. So it is also true. Now third one is L1 is regular and L2 is context free. It is also true because we have seen that uh, L1 is regular and uh, both L1 and L2 is also context free language. Now option D is L1 and L2 are context free but not uh, regular. So it is false because we have already seen that the language L1 and L2 both are regular. So option 4 is uh, false and so uh, the correct option will be a b and c it it was multiple select question so all the three option will be correct okay so let's move on to the next question and next question is oh, here is our next question which of the following statement is are true 
okay so it is also a multiple select question also we need to verify each and every option carefully so let's see the question uh, if every subset of recursively numerable language is recursive so here we have to tell the uh, true st statement so first first is not true because we know that subset problem for a uh, uh, subset problem problem for any language is undecidable so uh, so every subset of recursively enumerable language need not to be recursive so first is, uh, first one is uh, false now second now let's see the second if language l and its complement l dash are both recursively enumerable language then l must be recursive so as we know that it is a standard theorem that if language l and l dash are recursively enumerable language then l must be recursive you might have seen this type of question many times in our premium courses now so option b is correct now let's see the option c complement of context free language must be recursive so we know that the complement of context free language is definitely a csl so it has to be recursive because every context sensitive language is recursive language so option c is also true now let's see the option d if language l1 and l2 are regular then uh, intersection of l1 and l2 must be deterministic context free language so regular language uh, regular language are closed under intersection this is the property of lang regular language that it is closed under intersection which means if language l1 and l2 are regular then its intersection will also be regular and we know that every regular language is also a dcfl so this is statements holds true so oh, sorry so um so option b c and d will be correct option because it is also it was also a multiple select question so b c and d will be right option okay so let's see question number third so uh, question number third is also a multiple select question okay so this time they have given total four multiple select question and one multiple choice question so this is also a multiple select question let's read it consider the following language l1 l2 and l3 so there uh, there are three languages are given and we have to tell which of the following statements holds true for these languages okay so language l1 equals to w w where w belongs to a comma b clean closure all right so language one is not cfl it is very it uh, like language one is very famous example of non context free language because we cannot have the push down automata to accept this language let's see why okay so assume the value of w equals to a b a b let uh, assume the value of w equals to a b a b so the input string will be a b a b and a b a b so when we will put uh, the value of w in this in this language so it will become a b a b a b and a b a b so to remember the first half of the of the string we need to we will push all the a b a b in the stack and we know that push down automata can non -determ uh, deterministically determine the middle of the string so in stack we will push a b a b in same order with a on the bottom of the stack and this b this b b will be uh, on top of this stack now we need to match this second half of this string with the first half of this string so the first symbol of the second half first symbol of the second half must be equal to the first symbol of the first half but first symbol of the first half is on the bottom of the stack so PDA cannot do this matching. Hence, no PDA can recognize the language L1. So it is not a context. Um, uh, it is not a context-free language. But the complement of language L1 is definitely a context-free language. Now let's see the language L2. L2 equals to a a power n, b power n, c power m, where uh, m comma n is greater greater or equal to zero. 
okay so language l2 is dcfl because firstly on this on the stack there will be z0 and we will push all the uh, all the a's of the in input string we will push all the a's of the input string on the stack and and as the b b arrives we will start popping a's we will pop one a for the one for one b after when c appears we should have z0 on the top of the stack so that dpda goes to the final state and consume all the c's present in the input string so language l2 is dcfl now let's see the language l3 language l3 is also a dcfl as as we know that initially we have z0 on the stack then we will read all the a's and here b a number of b's will be equal to the number of c's so we will read all the a's and we will not push number of a's into the stack we will firstly read all the a's appear in the input input string then as the first b arrives we will start pushing b in the stack and as the first c appears we will start popping b from the stack and we will pop one b for the one c and 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 at the end of the string we encounter the end of input symbol um, a dollar so we must have z0 on the top of the stack then dpda goes to the final state hence language 3 is also a dcfl now we have to tell which of the following options are correct so more than one option could be correct because it is multiple select question so now let's uh, let's read the option one by one okay so option one is l1 is not context free but l2 and l3 are deterministic context free language option a is true because uh, we have seen that l l2 and l3 is dcfl and l1 is not cfl so first one is true next is neither l1 nor l2 is con context free option b is false because we uh, as it says that l2 is not cfl but we know that l2 l2 language is cfl so this is false statement option c is l2 comma l3 and intersection of uh, l2 comma l uh, intersection of l2 l3 are context free so this is also false because intersection of l2 and l3 will be a power n b power n c power n where n is greater greater than equal to 0 which is not a cfl but it is context sensitive language so it is also uh, true so it is also false now option d is option d is neither l1 nor its complement is context sensitive option d is also false as it says l1 l1 complement is not cfl but we have seen that complement of language l1 is context free so so option so so option b c and d will be the correct options now let's see next question which of the following is are undecidable again this is multiple select questions so here uh, to solve this question you must have knowledge about undecidable and decidable concept of turing machine so that you can answer this properly so, okay let's read the statements all right so statement one is given two turing machines m1 and m2 decide if lm1 equals to lm2 so here two turing machines are given and we have to tell that if their languages are equal or not so it is nothing but a equality problem and we all are aware of that problem that we cannot design the algorithm to solve this problem so the equality problem is undecidable for turing machine okay okay so first let, let's understand what is decidable mean so decidable is basically when you have a problem and also you have an algorithm to solve that problem at a particular at a finite time then that problem is known as decidable and when you have a problem but you don't, don't, don't have any algorithm or any machine to solve that problem then that problem is known as undecidable. Uh, hope it is clear okay so now let's read the second point given a turing machine m decide if 
LM is regular. So it is nothing but a regularity problem. And uh, we know that it's no uh, non-trivial property. So it is undecidable. Now uh, option C is given a Turing machine M, M decide if M accepts all string or not. So it is membership problem and for, uh, for Turing machine me membership problem is also undecidable. We cannot decide that any string is member or not. So option C is also uh, undecidable. Now uh, D, uh, D, D statement is given a Turing machine M decide if M takes more than 107 uh, three steps on every string okay so given a turing machine we have to decide that if it is taking 1073 step uh, more than 1073 steps for every string or not so we can decide this problem with the help of algorithm means if we have an algorithm to solve this problem so if we have steps in question and that to finite steps then we can decide uh, we can solve that uh, problem with an algorithm so if machine uh, is taking less than 07, uh, 1073 steps, then it will reject uh, that string, else it will accept. Hence, this, hence op, uh, this problem is decidable. So only option D is decidable. Rest all of them are non-decidable. So, so the correct option will be A, B and C. Okay, now let's see the next one. okay so in exam this was the only multiple uh, choice question so in this question uh, which one of the following regular expression correctly represent the language of the finite automata given below so it is automata given and we have to find the regular expression for this language we have many ways to solve this question you know let's see uh, firstly we will name uh, the uh, these states as a b and c a b and c now on an initial states the uh, state there are two loops first one is this and second one is this so let us consider one loop is c and one loop is d now if you compress if you compress these loop these loops then it will uh, it will become it will become a b star b then b a star a so it will become like this a b star b plus b a star b now after after loop is over you you will be at uh, initial state but we want to go to final state so to uh, so we can go final state in two ways first one we can go from here or second or second we can go from here so first we first one we can go a. so we can go from here so it will be a b star also we can go from here so it will be b a star so this will be a b star plus b a star this will be your final regular expression let's see the option so option d will be correct for this one okay so thank you everyone uh, thank you so much for watching this video